Okay, um, I can't remember specifically what movie has won, like, the best movie of 2023. Was it Barbie? Barbie. Uh, or Oppenheimer. It was, like, one of those two. But you know what? Whoever made that the best movie of 2023, damn. Because The Iron Claw, in my opinion, was the best movie of 2023. Like, I liked it better than a lot of movies that came out last year. And I think The Iron Claw deserves respect. Like, more people... And it's cool because it's based on a true story. Although they did cover up a lot of that. Like, a lot of the things that actually happened. About the Von Erichs. Um, see, now I'm going back to the Von Erichs, okay? Because I do have to talk about the Von Erichs. Uh, of course, they were all pretty cool back in the day. They were all cool. Um, let's see, they had David Von Erich, you had Mike Von Erich, you had, um, Kevin Von Erich and Carrie Von Erich. There was Chris Von Erich, but he was cut from the movie, although I think they should have just added him, because why not? Um, and then there's Fritz Von Erich, the dad. Um, now there's also a theory about the curse of the Von Erichs and what causes it. So, apparently, Fritz Von Erich used to used to play as a Nazi like that was his character apparently and literally when he was wrestling it was like not that long he was wrestling like around I think the late 50s like early 60s like he was wrestling around like literally not that long after World War II um so yeah uh, and then you got the Von Erichs of course and you gotta people gotta realize like during that time period uh more people were watching wrestling during, like, like you gotta realize how big WCCW was in real life. Like, that was a huge territorial promotion. Like, Vince McMahon really wanted to buy that company out, like, immediately. Knowing how big it was. Um, when, for the, for the WWF. Um, yeah, and the Von Erics were huge. They were, um, they were super pop. They were, like, the biggest thing in Texas out there. I think they were up there with, like, the NFL back in the day. Considering the fact that um, WCCW was on ESPN, it was on ESPN. It was counted as a combat sport back in the day. So that just tells you that pro wrestling back in the 80s is a lot different. Like in the, it was a lot different in like the 70s than I think it does take place in the late. Yeah, WCCW late 70s. Wrestling was definitely a lot different in the 70s. Uh, pro wrestling. Uh, there was kayfabe. People had kayfabe back then. Nobody killed kayfabe. Um, so people from the crowd thought this shit was real, you know? That's the difference. And, um, and you got millions, I mean millions of people were watching this shit, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was like more mainstream. It was literally mainstream back in the day. Professional wrestling is dead now. We are living in the dark ages of pro wrestling. Like, I'd say we are getting closer to the freaking carnival days, which is like, you know, like the pre-World War I, a little after World War I, pretty much from pre-World, from like pre-World War I to like to World War II was the, was the carnival days of pro wrestling. And I think we are headed towards that era of pro wrestling when nobody really gives a fuck about pro wrestling unless you're there as a fan. Um... But as a casual, you're not going to care. You really aren't going to care. So that's what I like about this movie, the Von Erich movie, the, um, the What the Iron Claw, because it really, like, as a wrestling fan, because I went in as a wrestling fan, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. Um, I think this movie should have won the best movie of 2023. I think Zac Efron should have won an Oscar, because he's, he's a great actor. I think Zac Efron's a great actor. He's come a long way since High School Musical, okay? He has come a long way. And then Jeremy Allen White was pretty cool. Um, although he was pretty short to be playing as Carrie Von Eric. But you know what? I still enjoyed his role as Carrie. Um, but yeah, it was a good movie. Great movie overall. So yeah.